Hello everyone, this is Sahar from Aramkur. Today we are going to talk about cell organelles. Organelle, uh, we are going to talk about what? Plasma membrane. Okay. Now, this is also known as cell membrane. Here is the structure of plasma membrane. The plasma membrane is made up of phospholipid bilayer. Okay. This here, this, okay. This part is head, hydrophilic head. That means this part loves water, philic. And here we have tail. This is tail. This is this is hydrophobic. That means this tail are afraid of water. Okay. Now this plasma membrane has cholesterol, glycolipid, peripheral protein, integral protein, then protein channel, surface protein, glycoprotein. Now let's see transport through the plasma membrane. First phenomena is diffusion. Uh, this is a process in which substance from high concentration to low concentration. Usually carbon dioxide, oxygen, right? It moves through the diffusion. It, get, it gets inside the cell by diffusion. Next is osmosis. This is movement of solvent that is water from high concentration to low concentration through semi-permeable membrane. Now there are two types of osmosis. One is endosmosis, the next is exosmosis. Now let's see in endosmosis water from outside will get inside the cell because cell is having lower concentration of water so high concentration to low concentration so this is endosmosis because water is getting inside the cell that's why endo and in the second case in exosmosis the cell is filled with water the cell is filled with water so what happens here the water will get outside because the surrounding concentration is low and this movement is called exoosmosis because water is getting outside the cell. Now let's see here uh, three kinds of solution. We have isotonic solution. This is normal. Jo water ka content jitna andar aega, utna hi bahar jayega. To jo concentration hai, wo maintain ho hai. This is what we call isotonic solution. This is an animal cell and this is plant cell. In the case of plant cell, this kind of condition is called facet. Now, in hypotonic solution, what happens here? The surrounding concentration, right? There is more water outside, okay? And cell is having less water. So water will get inside and the worm and the cell will, what will happen here? The cell will be filled and it will, it will burst in case of animal cell. This is called lysis, hemolysis. And in case of plant, the water will get inside, but the cell will not burst because it has cell wall. This condition is called tergit. In hypertonic solution, what happens here? The water content inside the cell is more and outside the surrounding, it's less. So water will get outside, okay? And the cell will shrink and shrivel. Um, in case of animal cell, it is called prenation. And in case of plant cell, it is called plasmolysis. Okay, now, now let's start uh, to the next topic, passive and active transport. We have talked about diffusion, right? Right. That is simple diffusion, okay? That is passive, simple diffusion. We have talked about simple diffusion. diffusion. Two types of passive transport are there. That is simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion simple it's simply the movement of any substance right from high concentration to low concentration in facilitated diffusion there is two medium by which molecules travel okay let's see one is carrier protein the other one it's known as channel protein there will be transport of liquid soluble molecule and like uh, oxygen, carbon dioxide, benzene, or we have what? Water in the ethanol. And there will be also transport of small liquid in solvent molecules through the pores, okay? 
ओके नाउ इन द कैरियर प्रोटीन व्हाट हैपेंस यहां पे क्या होता है प्रोटीन रहता है जो मटेरियल को कैरी करता है कोई कोई ऐसा मटेरियल होता है जो प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन उसको अंदर नहीं आने देता है ओके सो दे रिक्वायर कैरियर प्रोटीन लेट मी प्रेस कैरियर प्रोटीन विल बी लाइक दिस सपोज ओके दिस दिस इज अवर प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन ओके लेट इट बाय लेयर नाउ दिस इज कैरियर प्रोटीन सपोज This is the glucose molecule. Now let's copy this. Now this will be in closed condition. Okay, when there is no, when the glucose molecule comes, what will happen? This will come here. Okay, then what will happen? Glucose molecule will get inside the plasma membrane. Okay, this is how the carrier protein works. And in channel protein, what happens? It will be like this. Only the selective molecules will get inside, or it will get out. Okay. These molecules, these sub molecules, यहाँ से या यहाँ से नहीं जा सकते. Simple diffusion में ये वाले membrane से जा सकते हैं. पर जो molecules नहीं जा सकते हैं, उन लोगों को कैसे जाना पड़ेगा? Carrier protein या channel protein के थ्रू नेक्स्ट वी हैव एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट में क्या होता है मॉलिक्यूल विल मूव फ्रॉम लो कंसंट्रेशन टू हाई कंसंट्रेशन हाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्या हो सकता है एटीपी हो सकता है नाउ लेट्स सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन्स फर्स्ट वन इंपरमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन इन दिस केस Let me write the four kinds first. Then we'll see it one by one. Permeable membrane, semi-permeable membrane. The last one, selectively permeable. Okay. Now in impermeable membrane, this will not allow any movement of substance like what solvent and solute. It will not pass through this membrane. Solvent or solute, it will not pass. This is called impermeable membrane. Next, in permeable membrane, there will be free passage, free movement of solvent, movement of solvent and solute. Next, we have semi-permeable membrane. It will allow the passage to solvent, but uh, it will prevent passing of the solute. Now we have selectively permeable. That means this membrane allows passage. Of solvent and few selected solute. Okay then, that's all. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye bye.